discuss about electrostatic fluid and charge cluster. Okay. Already we have discussed Coulomb's inverse trial law. Coulomb's inverse inverse square law. Square law in electricity. In electricity. Already we have discussed Coulomb's square law in electricity. Now what is the formula? Fp is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square. From the statement of Coulomb's inverse square law, once again, the attraction or repulsion force between two charges is always directly proportional to directly proportional to the product of magnitude of two charges and inversely proportional to the square distance between two charges. It is the equation number one, it is the equation two from one and two. We get the formula f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 pi r square. It is the Coulomb's inverse square law. From this equation here epsilon naught permittivity of permittivity of free space free space the value of epsilon naught is L point L to 5 into 10 to the power of minus 12 Coulomb square by Newton to meter square and the value of mathematical value of 1 by 4 pi epsilon to value is 1 by 4 pi epsilon to value is 9 into 10 to the power of 9 newton into meter square by Coulomb square. But uh, this formula in vector form, in a vector form, vector form, then f vector that is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 into r by r q. It is the vector form of the Coulomb's inverse pair law. Okay. Now again, that is the most important definition relate to permittivity. Relate to permittivity, permittivity or dielectric constant, dielectric constant. We will not discuss this definition. Relate to permittivity or dielectric constant. What is the problem? Then, epsilon of k is equal to epsilon by epsilon naught. Now here, epsilon naught is known as relate to permittivity. But k is a dielectric constant, it is a denoted by k. So what is the definition from this formula? The ratio of epsilon means permittivity of any medium to permittivity of free space is called relative permittivity or dielectric constant. Here, epsilon means permittivity of any medium. You could know the definition once again. The ratio of permittivity of any medium to permittivity of free space is called relative to permittivity or the electric constants. But now, this has no units. No units. Why? Because it is the same ratio. So, it has no units. But now, Next, we will discuss about from this formula, Coulomb's inverse That is a small problem. The problem number three. What is the problem? What happened to the force? What happened to the force? To the force between between two charges, two charges. What happened to the force between two charges when the distance when the distance between when the distance between 
two charges two charges there is a of b the it is the most important problem application of the coulomb's formula what is the problem once again what happened to the force between two charges when the distance between charges is a the steel field is most important of the and there is a w okay if we now from this problem first of all given that statement or statement a now we can write when the distance when the distance is is of when the distance is of now two charges now here we can say two charges q1 and q2 the actual distance d1 is equal to how much d but the statement the distance is the half it is the half then we can write d2 is equal to d by t from this statement now we can write d1 is equal to t here d1 is equal to initial distance but the statement distance is what now half then d2 is equal now we can write d2 again then d2 is equal to d by t d by t okay from this formula what is the formula then f is equal to 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square now this is the constant then f is directly proportional to now the relation between distance and force for them or distance is a or 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 is equal to d now we can write or is equal to d here d is also then it is inversely proportional to 1 by d square that implies then f1 by f2 that is equal to then d2 square by g1 square what happened now here it is inversely proportional to d force from f1 that is equal to f by 2 that is equal to the d2 means is how much now d by 2 whole square by d means d square that implies f1 by f2 that is equal to d square by 4 by d square d square is a cancel the remaining result f1 by f2 is equal to d so 1 by 4 now we do cross multiplication then f2 is equal to 4 what happened from the statements then the initial force is uh, or the final force is uh, 4 times uh, increases what is the condition when the distance is of the force is therefore force is how much time it is 4 times increases ok with the first statement is over now the second statement of the formula is this the of you know the, when the distance when the distance is double when the distance is double now same to the figure here q1 charge and q2 charge now the q1 charge and q2 charge initial distance d1 is equal to t but the statement is double now the it is the elimination it is the q2 then d2 is equal to how much mana to d is double okay if we now we can write from this uh, figure of statement now we can write then d1 is equal to d and d2 is equal to 2d same form what is the formula f1 by f2 that is equal to d2 square by d1 square okay now f1 f1 but f2 f2 d2 is equal to 2d square nothing but here 4d square but d1 square it is known as d square d square d square is cancelled that implies then f1 by f2 that is equal to d1 1 now we do cross multiplication we get the value is equal to then f equal to f is equal to then f1 by 4 1 by 4 what I meant then the force is then the force is 4 times 4 times 
decreases. What is the condition? When the distance is doubled, then the force is four times so decreases. But now here, when the distance is awkward, the force is four times so increases. Now next topic is electric field. Electric field. Okay. Now all that discuss is about what is the charge, types of charge and properties of charge. Coulomb's in the scale law. But now next topic is electric field. No, what is the electric field? No, it's a. In the charge, this is the another charge, any charge, Q1 charge. Is it created around the place? This is the place. Okay, it is the charge, it is the charge is created the place. This place or oh, which place attracted or repelled, attracted or repelled by another church. Another church. Then this place is called, this place is called electric field. Okay, now it is the one church, it is the Q1. The around the, the surrounding the church, no, place of the church, the place is attracted or repelled by the another chair. The space is called electric field. Simply, the space around the church, the space around the church, which is attracted or repelled by another church, then the space is called electric field. Second, the space around the church is, which is attracted or repelled by another church, then the space is called Electric field. Electric field has its own term. Vector quantity. Vector quantity. Vector quantity. It is zero. Vector quantity. Okay. If for now, types of four electric fields. So these are two types. One is uniform electric field. Uniform electric field. Field. Another is a non-uniform electric field. Non-uniform electric field. But what is the uniform electric field? Suppose now we have example. It is the electric field. Now for example, this is the charge of particle, particle of charges. All charges are now we are observed. All charges are observed. And direction is also you are observed. Direction is also observed. It is the space, no? it is the particle of charge. All charges are quantities are equal and direction is equal. The space is called the, this field is called uniform electric field. Now what is the uniform electric field? The charges of or of quantity and direction of equal then the field is called uniform electric field and non-uniform electron we are observed it is the charges if the charges now we are observed the quantity of the there is the magnitude of the charges is different and the direction of the charges also different then the field is called uniform electric now second, what is the uniform electric field? Now the magnitude and the charges, the magnitude of the charges all and direction of the all charges are equal. Now here, magnitude and the direction of the all charges has a different. This field is known as a non-uniform electric field. The field is as known as uniform electric field. Okay. Now second, what is the electric field? The space around the charge. It is attracted or repelled by another charge. The space is called electric field. Electric field is a vector quantity. It has two types. One is the uniform electric field. Another is a non-uniform electric field. Elect uniform electric field means the magnitude of, of all charges and direction has the same. The field is known as uniform electric field. And non-uniform electric field means the magnitude and direction of all charges are different. The field is non-uniform electric field.